All right, we're here at Giant. That one's seven and a... Ah, uh, let's just get that one. Ooh. Wow, 249 a pound. Oh well. Hey, good morning guys. It's about 6.15 on a Tuesday morning. The morning the Phillies are gonna take on the Marlins for the first game in the Wild Card Series, 2023. Anyway, we're gonna do a simple, easy, lazy rob, pork shoulder today. No wrap, just gonna throw it on the uh, acorn here and set it at 275. Just let it go until it's done. Probably till it's about 205. And uh, as far as seasonings, you don't need to get fancy. You know, you don't have to go buy stuff. You got salt, pepper, garlic in your, uh, in your kitchen? Let's use that. All right, let's go ahead and get inside. I have the, uh, the grill already set up, about 275. Um, it overshot a little bit. So I, I cranked the vent down a little bit when we're getting the pork shoulder ready here. Um, hopefully that'll creep down. No worries, it'll creep down at some point. But anyway, let's go ahead and get inside, get this pork shoulder ready. Here we go. All right, welcome to my kitchen. So here we have a uh, 7.24 pound bone-in pork shoulder, pork butt, Hatfield brand. I spent way too much on this. You can see it was on sale for $2.49. Normally you can find them on sale for $99 or $150. Anyway. I wanted to do this video, so it's my fault. So anyway, let's get going. All right. Get yourself a nice sharp knife. And get some of the gook off of here. All right, what do you want to do with the fat cap? If we're trying to go easy, we can just score it up. Um, it's pretty thick right here though. So I'm gonna kind of get some of that off. Uh, the rest isn't too bad, maybe a little here. You wanna not mix that in with your meat when you're done, but I like to keep some on there. All right, so now we'll just kinda do that. All right, next, let's mix up our goodies. All right, we're just gonna do salt, pepper, garlic on this guy. And we got some coarse ground black pepper. About like that, eh, a little more, just in case. Got some Lowry seasoned salt. And we've got some garlic powder. Ooh. Right, a little too much garlic powder, I think. Get out of here. All right. Mix those up, put them in here. There we go. All right, next step, get your binder. We're just going to use some yellow mustard here today. And put 
put on your seasoning. Probably put some more on that side, but I want to make sure everything's cool. We got enough for this side. Worst case, we'll sprinkle some more on manually. All right, we're down to 282. Had it set at 275, and uh, it had gone up a little over 300. So just closed the vent a tiny bit, and it um, it came up or came down to 282. So anyway, got the charcoal going. I'm gonna throw some oak wood on. Now, let's go ahead and put this guy on. I don't even care if we're fat cap up or down. We're fat cap up, obviously, right now. Um, the heat is gonna hit from up top here. It's gonna come around the, uh, the guy. The offset guy. Not offset, what am I thinking? What's the word? Heat deflector. Um, there we go. Plugged it in. Internal temp currently is correcting. Should be about 42. 40, 42. Good. Now we're set. So I'll keep an eye on this throughout the day. Keep it right around uh, 275-ish. And the next time I open it will be when it hits about 205 internal temp. So, see you guys later on. All right, guys, it's been about nine and a half hours. I haven't opened it. I have a probe in there. It's telling me uh, it's a 204 internal temp. It's been 204 for about 20, 30 minutes, though. So I'm gonna just stick it with a probe and just kind of see how soft it feels. Cause you're not always going about um, temperature, right? You wanna make sure that the meat's nice. So let's go ahead, open it up, check it out. Oh, look at it. It's looking pretty fancy. All right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going, <laughs> I could, the weight of this is almost going in by itself. And I'm getting 210 over here, 208. Uh, so this guy, we're gonna take him off. Hold your ears, I'm gonna get some uh, aluminum foil. I don't use these guys to, to, you know, shred it up, but I do use them to pick it up. And because we didn't wrap it, it wants to be a little bit connected there to the grill. Ooh, we got a little piece here. I'm gonna save that for once it cools down, I'll eat it. hot. All right, so now what we're going to do, wrap this up in a towel. Put it in a cooler. I'm going to let it rest at least 
at least an hour, at least two hours. It's uh, just about 4 p.m. here, it's a like quarter of. Um, so I'm not gonna eat yet. It's almost four o'clock, let it rest a couple hours. It'll be six o'clock. And then we can shred it apart, put it on some rolls. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, we'll see you in a couple hours. All right guys, it's time to uh, shred this up, take a look. Can't wait, here we go. Yeah, it looks so good, it smells so good. All right, <laughs> these gloves are tight. All right, this guy comes right out. All right, and we're just gonna, some of this fat is really thin, so I don't really care if it gets mixed in here with it. Look at that. You know what this is over here. It's beautiful. All right, mixing everything together. A little bit of a smoke ring, not too much. You can use a fork or you can use those things I was using earlier when I picked it up. Nice, I think it's time to taste it. A little bit of that fat. One. Good. That um, salt, pepper, garlic. Good choice. Nice. Check that one out. <laughs> All right. So it stopped recording at some point. I'm not sure when but pretty sure it was recording when I was shredding it up. Was that the shredding? Anyway, this is really good. You can taste that um, salt, pepper, garlic. Perfect. So nine and a half hours at 275, no wrap. Throw it on there. Get some of the major fat off. This is not really fatty in here. I haven't got a real fatty piece yet. And um, yeah, just do it. Don't even look at it, don't spray it, nothing. And as far as, the, as far as the games tonight, baseball games and the playoffs, I'm really just, excuse me, <clears throat> there it is. I'm really just hoping everybody has a good time, you know, and I'll be happy with that. No, <laughs> go Phillies. Nobody wants the Marlins to win. All right. Thanks for watching. Leave some comments below. Love comments. I'll comment back. Um, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think. I'm going to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Shit, how long has it been? Three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Nine. Half hours.